Well, there we go. <laughs> Welcome to the third episode. Of the Confederacy Fields are 11,288 men under the command of Major General Smith. Okay. The Union Field, 7,000 men under the command of Brigadier General Morgan. Uh, I think we've been able to move out to this position here without being harassed. We haven't seen the Army of Ohio move, but I haven't taken a look at that. I have broken all ties. I bind with the U.S. Army. I didn't quite get to read that. So, we will deploy. We shall win uh, the Battle of London in Kentucky. Okay. The enemy army, enemy army is green. Them browsers want to be eager. A report indicates their supply situation is outstanding. The supply situation of our own army is outstanding. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Kirby Smith. So, we do see then. Let's see. Oh, do I actually get a... Ah, that's intriguing. Man. So I actually do get a breakdown here. Confederacy. Right. Hierarchy. Okay. So, we do have Determined and we have Eager. I think Determined is probably worth more than Eager, perhaps. Um, They do seem to have better condition across the board, but our condition is good. Theirs is just slightly better because they haven't moved, which is fair enough. Yeah, it looks pretty good all around. So, current report status is March, which is interesting. So they do have the 26th Brigade, 24th, 27th, 25th. So we have 24th through to 27th Brigade here, yeah, 7th Division Artillery then. Okay, 1,900 men, uh, 200 sick here is really good information here to actually have. Cavalry. Oh, casualty rate, sorry. Reinforcements arriving. Uh, where would you see reinforcements arriving? Uh, I don't think we have any of our own. Right, that's just reported might not be true. Fair enough. It gives us something to work with. We do have the actual name and commander here. Right, leadership. So it looks like the 25th Brigade would be the one to try and target there, as they do have a uh, inferior commander. Not very cunning. Rankings not very high. Uh, so it looks like if we can try and target one V twenty fifth Brigade band with the command of Lieutenant Colonel Spears would be worth uh, worthwhile targeting. Right. So somebody mentioned something about resist. Oh wow, that performance seems to be better here. Holy shit! Somebody mentioned something about reinforcements. Right. There we go. Yeah, see, the only problem is we don't have any separate division command, so we are going to have to quite... It's essentially a large division, we're going to have to treat it as such. It's going to have to be deployed in such a way as to smash the enemy. So we do have Pennyville over here, then. We do have Sinkhole Valley, which is an interesting name. We do have Dawn Valley Pike. Uh, I'd imagine that's a turnpike. We do have Hope Creek here. We do have... I mean, as far as it goes, the... Terrain's intriguing. Let's take a look at the actual terrain. That's always a good way to actually begin said battles. Actually, no, it looks significantly better. I thought this was, like, rough terrain, but it's not too bad. Yeah, we do have Perryville here. That objective is to hold Perryville. I could actually garrison these buildings, which is actually really quite fascinating. Now, that's really quite fascinating. So we do actually have a real, real desire. We can actually deploy quite close to uh, the position here. Okay. So I could actually have cavalry off the bat detached. I'm gonna turn off that initiative for the time being then. Right, so we have a cavalry there. I do have I do have some really quite impressive cavalry. Right, detached. So make sure they're detached. I want to make sure they are detached, but it should be good. Right, it should be fine. Uh, we have a horse drawn artillery, so at least it moves quite cl uh, quickly. Right, what I'm going to do here then is test what I was talking about earlier on. Uh, right, okay. Yeah, what I'm going to try and do then is link them up. I would like to deploy them closer to their fellows, not further away. I guess I'm going to have to settle. <laughs> right, that'll do. Right, so I'm going to link them. So that's the chain there. Link them to them. And I think link them to them. I don't know why they're doing that. <laughs> I 
okay. <laughs> uh, that seems to be a bit of a bug right now. <laughs> that does seem to be a bit, uh, a bit of a bug right now, okay. No stick. <laughs> Stop it. Okay, let's unlink them. <laughs> okay, uh, that was an experience. <laughs> well, we took the objective. Right, they're linked now, okay. Oh, no, okay. No. No. Okay. Stop. Stop. Oh. Okay, uh, we've developed early Tomahawk missiles. Right, unlink, okay. Let's not try that. At least for now. Yeah. Ah, fuck's sake. I'll give them orders on, on start. Um... Well, that was quite fun. Uh, well, if you keep the smaller brigade of cavalry attached, I've seen it. I will try to be in the front. Right, okay. No, that's not a bad idea, actually. Uh, the arrows mean they will deploy left, right, front. Right, okay. Oh, I see. That's good to know. I think we'll have them deployed on the roads here, then. I might go ahead and link them out, uh, link them up as we get the opportunity to do so. Front reserve. Right, so that might be why, but it looks like they might have had... Yeah, now they're chained together. Okay. So it looks like they'll act as a reserve for them, so that's good to know then. That's probably why they were freaking out. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, reserve. Hmm. Oh, so what I could do then is actually tell them to go to their uh, left. Right, so they'll march like that. Okay. I'm going to tell them... Well, actually, to be honest, I'll, I'll... Hmm. I'll leave them separate for the time being. We only have the one command, so I'm going to have to keep it fairly close. So we'll manage like that then. Actually, no, what I'm going to do is tell them to march and reserve. We can change it then as they get to the front. So, march and reserve. Good, good. Thank you for telling me about the arrows. I actually understand how the system works now. Uh, thanks, Sue. Very much appreciated. Right. Yeah. We're going to have to keep them further linked together. So, we're going to have them essentially deploy this way. Getting to this position is going to be absolutely uh, vital. But I'm going to have this uh, march over here to Crawford. We'll have to take a look, though. So, it depends on really the... Um, Hmm. Oh, I see. Ah, so they deployed together then. Okay. Right, good to know. Now, that's 867 men. That's too... That's such a big brigade. Such a big brigade. Okay. What we're going to do here then is... I will have scouts split off as soon as we begin. So... What we'll do then is... Break off the scouts. Right, so we have our scouts here then. I'm going to have them told to head north. Apparently we have these uh, positions already, which is quite nice. Uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do then is scout towards this position here then if I can. The reason being I want to try and observe the enemy before they do cross the river. Uh, let's go ahead and pause here then so we don't lose any time. I want to get these orders issued then. And this is it. We could form up beyond Perryville here in the actual fields. I would like to have the artillery position somewhere. We probably do have the ability to deploy out into this area. So we might go to Dyer's Take, perhaps. The reason being, we do have the hill here. I do have command of that. Uh, I do have Doctor's Creek out here. So my objective here is to hold Perryville. What we might want to do then is actually form up outside Perryville on this side of the river and over on here, Harmonia College. Now, that's probably not a bad site for artillery, perhaps, but I'm not too sure there. Uh, look for the blue arrow on the edge of them. Yeah, well, that's true. Oh, 
That's such a good point there. Ah, so they're going to be approaching from this side. Okay. So, right, that's very important there. Thank you very much, my baby. <laughs> Clearly a better player than I am. Uh, so I could form up, up this way. Hmm. It might just be that we push into this area over here, then, because we do have... Yeah, it might be that we push up towards uh, Dixieville, Dixville Crossroads and Open Knob. Superb name. Where's Bottom Hill? Bottom Hill, yeah. We could potentially fall back to Bottom Hill if needs be. But that might be where we sight our artillery, perhaps. Uh, pretty good to know. Right, I'm going to have that cavalry tow to head elsewhere then. Yeah, they'll use their initiative. Hmm. I guess head for Evans. You got some engineering points? Yep, that'd be quite useful actually. The parapet's a bit very nice. Right, okay. So what I'm going to do then is going to have Stevenson's Brigade and the other Brigade, I can't recall the name of, um, hold, I think, this area here. The roads, well, this is it. The road heads here, but it doesn't... So it looks like they might march. That looks like a trail. The road leads here. Ah, uh, the road leads here, doesn't it? Right, okay. Uh, so what I could potentially do then is actually have them, the smaller brigades. Hmm. I probably want to deploy them out this way, perhaps. I think it'd be potentially better here because we could actually split off some. Uh, I don't know. Actually, it's not. It's not particularly great, but the roads do suggest that they will be headed this way. I think what we want to do then is potentially deploy further here and essentially try to make it to this position here. I don't think I'll be able to make it there, but it's not that far away for move quick though. That's the thing. We'll have to try it out, but I'm going to head for the, this position here. And we'll try for the best. It might be that we. Um, yeah, we'll we'll try we'll try our best. We'll try to head out this way. Hope for the best. Expect the worst, but hope for the best. Did I give the orders to the wrong fellow there? I might have done. Right, so let time just issue one then. Just let these orders go out, then I'll make sure. Um, Right, okay. So what I'm going to do then is... Right. So they're detached. So I'm going to get the cavalry marching out here. What I could be uh, doing then is potentially having the cavalry move out this way so they could look towards flanking. We do have Dixville over here. And we could potentially go for open ridges here, but there's no roads out this way. I think what we'll do then is potentially have them head out this way. Um, well, what I'll do then is I'll have them move out to Perryville to begin with. Yeah, we are attacking you, all right. Okay. So when all these orders to be given then. Okay, cavalry's marching now. So I have a detachment there. I might potentially click the wrong unit given that order. So it looks like it's been given to this unit. We'll give it a little bit of time, let the orders go out there. Probably just take a little bit of time. Okay, we'll try it again then. What we're going to do then is tell them to have a stop order, and then we'll get, uh, begin to move assets out then. Right, where's the command here? Right, it's here then. Okay. Right, so we do have our orders moving out then. It looks like this might mean... Yeah, so this looks like it's actually sending an order out here. That's good to know then. So it looks like that's how that works. Uh, looks like we are due an order here, yeah, because this is changed. Ah, right, okay, so he's moved there, right. Good, right, we're learning how the system works now. Quite happy about that, okay. What I'm going to do then is have them moved. I could even potentially take position over here to Doctor's Creek, perhaps. Uh, might be that we do that. It's a difficult situation here because I simply do not know where they are. It might simply be that we form up beyond Perryville and actually take it from there, really. Potentially out here at Peter's Hill, perhaps. 
And when you've got a brigade selected, you can use the arrow up button to uh, to select the division commander. Ah. Oh, yes, you are right, Ved. We have, like, minimize. We have uh, order of battle down. We have, yep, yeah, okay. And then we have the up over here to the division. Right. Excellent. Thank you very much. So, AI stance. Uh, what I'm going to go ahead, I could turn initiative off, and I might turn initiative off in shortly. Uh, what we're going to do then is I'll have these fellows move out here to this position here. Yeah, I might have been clicking the wrong fellow there. Excuse me. I'm going to have Stevenson's force move out this way. Yeah, I can imagine more core battles. So I do have this attachment that hasn't yet begun to move. So what I'm going to do then is actually have them placed. Uh, we do have some hills here. They, they should be marched now. Probably might just take a little bit of time then before they receive set orders. Uh, I do have the cavalry here then. Uh, so we have this now, which is excellent. I'd like to secure this position. Potentially that position back. So I think that could be potentially useful. At least it will act uh, to give us advance warning. I think I will have Alliston's brigade move potentially out this way. It would be useful to actually have these uh, cavalry units deployed to the flanks. Uh, we'll go with that. Yeah, we'll have hope. Now if I click on him, right, so we can see that orders are going to be issued now. It'd be nice if I could see that from above on the actual zoomed out map. We'll see. Uh, they're on the other side of the river. Okay. That seems to be a bit of a bug there. But the system's working. We have the order going out here. Are you doing that just east? It's getting better. I mean, this is it. It's an early bit of development. It's early access and beta is beta, I suppose you could say. Things are working out. A little bit of a weird bug that we had to move there, but it's not too much of a problem. They'll eventually catch up, so I'll let it be. Right, now they're marching out. Yeah, it looks like it deploys them there afterwards. So we do have our assets moving now, which is good there. Okay. So what I'm going to do then is have to figure out when I want to sight my artillery. Um, I'm going to have it shifted up here to Perryville. There we go. <laughs> now, no turns yet to do this moment in time. I do have a THG turn to work on, uh, but I'm not finished with it as of yet. Ideally, I do get the dead man turn tonight. That'd be nice. Peter's Hill, maybe. Not a bad suggestion. So, will they begin to march now to catch up? I'm quite eager to see how the system works. They should do. Now move in. Let's see. Right, okay. Now they are. Good. Yeah, it's a bit janky, but we'll have to work with that. Well, at least I understand more of how the system works now. So do I need to have a unit in here to actually hold on to Perryville? Because look, it looks like I need to. I might have to go ahead and actually just uh, detach one of the actual units then to hold on here. But then again, we are the offense. Uh, we are the uh, aggressor, so we might as well act like the aggressor. And I think I'm fine with that. We'll try to actually uh, destroy the enemy army if we can. It does look like they've actually secured that position there. Right, I'm happy to report that we have captured Springfield Pike. That's good. Yeah, so we can see that the enemy has secured this position here. Hmm. Right, moving out this way. Cavalry's moving out that way. I might have to... I should have actually... I probably just needed to detach them, didn't I? Yeah, that's probably the reason why I didn't detach them. So I could just detach them in the future and that makes make sense. Right, okay. So that's why that did work, because I didn't detach them. Right, Peter's Hill. So Peter's Hill is sighted. Uh, it's an interesting... This is actually really quite good. I might have to just actually go ahead and deploy them there. So we'll have them move this way. They're moving up that way anyway, so they'll move out. I'd have liked these guys to make a little bit more progress, and I think I might go ahead and actually unchain them. 
So it doesn't seem that they're making enough progress to warrant its use. Could do with them moving a little bit faster. They'll have to wait for additional orders, but if they get moving out there sooner, the better. Right, they're moving out this way now. Okay. <laughs> right, so we do have Hindman over here. What I'll do then is detach a scout from them. Uh, so we do need to detach the actual scout from here. So I do have that detachment. So what I'm going to do then is have them detached. Uh, now, do I need to wait for that order there? So what I can go ahead and do is click you. It's not suggesting uh, suggesting that. So they might in theory be... Oh, right. So we do see them be marching here already. Uh, bit of a problem. So we move a tad bit too slow. I don't want to have them detached as such, but it's not too bad. Um... Right, take back the scouts. Okay. Well, we are moving to the top of the hill here. Right. Reinforcements should be on their way. I do have a cavalry here that could move around, and I'm going to actually order them to move around. Now, if I could move up to the actual position here, we might be able to flank the enemy. Yeah, right, okay. So, what I'm going to do then is actually take them into a single line, have them form up over here. Um, right, okay, we do see Carter's attachment over here, then that has been actually placed. Right, let them form up. Uh, additional brigades will be falling up. We are behind because obviously we did have to wait for our forces to move out. We did have that. But it's not too bad. We've learned how to command and I'm quite happy with that. Uh, so we'll be engaging here shortly. Right, the brigade's going to form up now. Uh, a couple... But yeah, so we see the Union body there. <laughs> I had no idea there was a, a London, uh, Kentucky. Indeed, neither did I. Neither did I. It's going well enough. We had to restart because there's a new uh, patch out today. Uh, they took a bloody lot of casualties there. If they might have bought 30 casualties, actually rather impressive there. Yeah, that's actually really quite impressive. Uh, they are sending up detachments here. Uh, we do have a brigade. Reinforcements are moving up as quickly as they can be. Uh, I do have this brigade here. I'm going to have this moved up to support. It's going to come from the flank, but we'll take it from there. Uh, it, it was a force reset because obviously there's a new... Each time the uh, game is updated, uh, you lose your campaign progress at this moment in time. They are adding the ability to save and load in the future, but it's not here right at uh, right this moment in time. Right, so not too bad. Uh, we do have here mixed muskets, which isn't exactly ideal, but they do have numbers to hold out. I mean, it's the larger brigade there, which is useful. We have Carter's detachment there with 40 casualties. Uh, Spears' detachment here with 4 we do see the Union artillery moving up over here, which is a bit of a problem. But the fact is I could potentially flank that position there with the cavalry. I'm going to really try to do that if we get the opportunity to do so. Uh, right. Command's moving up here. We have our own artillery moving up now, which is good. Uh, looks like I'm waiting on that order. It's interesting, they seem to actually return to their original command, but we'll see there. What I'm going to do then is actually tell them to stop. I'd rather have a proper order given. Tell them to move down there. They should do it because they're detached, in theory. Right, we have our horse-drawn artillery here, which is useful. Have it move up as close as it can. Right, okay. Have it a little limber. Fire upon Spears detachments if we can. Uh, though in fairness, I might want to fire down into the actual brigades over here. Uh, try and get them in a position to actually engage the enemy. Looks like they're forming up. But we should have another brigade. Yeah, we have two brigades marching up here then. So we should be able to hold our position here for the time being. Uh, we do have our commander, uh, Mr. Kirby here. Edmund Kirby moving up. We do have Barton over here, which is another brigade. Right, they're moving out there. Only 764 men. Uh, looks like those orders are taking some time, but we do have men moving up now. Uh, we are firing. 
fire up on the units over here. Yeah, so a lot of Union men. Right, unstable right now in terms of morale, but we have more or less butchered these uh, detachments. So, looks like Atur has gone a little bit high. Right, our unit's currently broken, which is not freaking good. Uh, yeah, because of the units that didn't arrive, but we do have a two brigades margin up here. They may yet recover. Okay, hold your positions. If you can. Uh, we do have our brigades marching up here. It's just a shame. Had the men moved when we wanted them to, we should have been alright. But we do have brigades arriving just in time, it seems. If we can get them in front, actually, we should be okay. They may recover their morale and re-enter the battlefield. Looks like the minimum range there. They should potentially recover sooner or later. Just need these orders to move out. Right. Uh, what I'm going to do then is actually relocate them. Have them retire somewhat to the rear here. Yeah, you'd, I'd hope they would potentially recover here. Well, he's having a little bit of fun under the river there. Yeah, well, that's it. I mean, we had a little bit of an issue there. I think had we uh, understood how the chain command worked beforehand, we'd probably been all right. But we learned a valuable lesson. To wait on these orders to come through here, then I can actually have them moved out. Uh, that's the only issue is the orders delay. It's quite some delay. I wish there was an, a way to move the commander here, but it looks like he's actually got stuck in here, which is a bit of a problem. But, oh, well, we'll take it from there. Um, we always have the ability to restart if we need to, I, I think. I don't know why they move through there. They should be able to move up. They're probably just not wanting to. Okay. Yeah, rear the green as well. Maybe I should just have them on limber, considering the fact that they're in the position where they are now. If they're going to be of any use, then I'll have them be of some use, I guess. Fire if you can, I guess. Right, can we move to the flank there? Yeah, I mean this is a problem here. Just not been able to get our fellows into the right position here due to the outer command system. It's a good system. Obviously there are bugs in the game here. Come on, just don't be so... Don't be so harsh. You can enjoy the game, don't worry about it. It's technically fire in here. Looks like they're arming. Yeah, let's see. Will our brigade come back? It's a bit of a problem that they have been broken like so. It looks like Johnson's got stuck here, which is a bit of a problem. But let's just see. These bugs will inevitably be fixed in the future. Uh, these units should have been detached. I'm not too sure why. Alright, let's try again. Detach. So I really could have done with that aid here. Oh, well, it's a learning experience. Hey, Nevaeh Hiltebrand, good to have you, my man. It might be better for us potentially to... Um... Okay, good, Johnson's finally moving now. So we do have them here. They're broken. Uh, they might potentially rally. So it looks like in the future we might potentially have to uh, auto-resolve some of these battles, just until the system is a little bit more reliable. So I do have these units over here that I really would like to get moved out. Yeah, it looks like they're broken as well. Not a good day for us so far. I'm going to put that down on the command system being a bit janky, but then again, it's to be expected. Right, 
Right. Uh, get out of bed if you can. Um, we're fighting Union territory this moment in time. And I need them to move, but they're probably going to break here. Not the best result there, really. Had things actually worked out better, we probably would have won this, because we did have the numbers here. Need to make sure that these men are detached. It's a problem, isn't it, really? But then again, maybe we should just get everything together and just, just taking it as is. But, well, learning. Learning. Definitely learning. And additional divisional commands would have been nice. We'll see. They may yet recover. Not too sure how the mechanic works there. I think they've stopped there because they can't simply move anywhere else. <laughs> yeah. Just need them to move. Just need them to move. It may be that we potentially turn off all the delay for the future. In the future, potentially. Just until the game is uh, in a better state, really, perhaps. Yeah, the issue is it's like we only had the one brigade here and we couldn't get the others. I'm not going to take the blame for that one. <laughs> I'm going to have to do the reading. I'd like to think that there was like a command to specifically move the actual commander. So that would have been very useful now. Hmm. We'd have won this. But I think we might have just been better off actually auto resolving then. I guess. Oh well. Hmm. They're not even moving, that's the problem. Might as well just have them here. If they can at least fire, they might as well fire. Oh, now they're... Yeah, they're broken. Okay, well, that's not good. Yeah, so that's a bloody complete defeat, which is really quite annoying. So maybe we should just go ahead and just auto-resolve it next time. A bit of a setback, but hey, we'll take the setbacks. A bit of a shame, considering that we should have won this, but I think the problem was just not having the units move where we want them to move. So I've got these units here. And they're... Are they detached? That's I'm confused why they're not marching then. Hmm. Did we accidentally reattach them somehow? Not terribly sure there. What I'm going to do here then is, can we click exit and use roads? Oh, that'd go to main menu then. Okay, never mind. Uh, let's see then. Order and retreat. Bit of a pain. Bit of a shame. But we've learned a valuable lesson here then. So we do withdraw here then. We don't suffer too tremendously badly. It looks like a do lose those guns, which is bloody... I don't know, do I lose those guns? I'm not too sure. Uh, possibly. Not ideal. Definitely not ideal. I think what we'll have to do then is just in the future... I don't know. Maybe we turn off the order delay. We'll not try the chain linking, because so that did cause some problems there. Yeah. It's kind of annoying, because that should not have been a defeat. Had our units moved as we wanted them to, then we should have been okay. But, okay. We'll take another chin. The game is in beta. So, there are things that are going to go wrong. Bit of a shame. Hope for a different result there. I think maybe in the future we'll just uh, go ahead and all resolve. Yeah. I'm not entirely sure what you're saying there, just. <laughs> I appreciate that English might not be the first language. So that's fair enough. Who am I to judge? Yeah, the problem was we just didn't have another brigade with them. Had we had the uh, three brigades there to begin with at the start, we would have been probably fine. I need to look and see if there's actually a command to move the commander. Hmm. Oh, well, we'll take on the chin. Uh, we'll see what the results are, and we'll take it from there. But I think I'll call this the end of the stream just in a second. We do see the results there. It's a problem. Ideally, we haven't lost the artillery, but I wouldn't be shocked if we had lost the artillery. I don't imagine they would have recovered it. Oh, well. 
Just getting used to the game, really. Just getting used to it. Hmm. How you doing there, Tom? Good to have you, my friend. I don't know about that, Grim. It's not like we're spread, it's just the fact we just couldn't get them to move as we wanted them to. It's a bit of a problem there. Alright, let's see. That's not that bad, I guess. We didn't lose that many men, we'll just recover them. But we still have our guns, so that's not too bad. We'll find that battle again in the future, we'll win it again. Well, we'll win it, win it next time, I should say. Um, I don't know. I do like the idea of the command system. I just find that at the moment it's a bit janky, which is to be understood. To be expected, really. It's a bit of a pain in the arse. Yeah, we'll just have to figure it out, really. I suppose there were always going to be some defeats and some inexplicable defeats as well. So I suppose it's, to, it's the thing that's going to happen. As so we'll take another chin and we'll go from there in the future. And uh, if anybody has any advice about the command system, I'd appreciate it. As far as I'm aware, I tried to give it as much time as I could. Tried to let it do its thing, but I think with the chain link system, it just... I don't know. Uh, maybe in the future we'll just not chain link them. And just let them just get on with it, really. We'll have to see there. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a bit of a shame. I, I just want to be able to feel like I'm commanding them properly. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. I hope you guys enjoyed it so far. It's a shame that we did have to restart the campaign, but in fairness, we hadn't got that far. Uh, and we were only on March 5th now. So that's fine. We can recover from that defeat. We'll go ahead and we'll reinforce them. I'd love to give them like another uh, division there. Uh, yeah, we stop there just. We stop. I've been going here about uh, just shy of two hours. Have a bit of a break. Go make a coffee. Give people the time to judge my commands. <laughs> I'm kidding. Now, the support actually has been tremendous. Absolutely tremendous. This is it. It's not just people who are disappointed because it's not that they're disappointed in me. But it's the disappointed, obviously, in the actions. They, they want the victories as I want the victory. We'll learn them. We'll get them. Cincinnati looks like a very large city there. Holy moly, that's a big city. Wow, I never realized Cincinnati was actually so large there. That's actually... Jet wow, then we have commenting out here? That's actually pretty damn impressive. So we have... That's actually a lot of population there. I do wonder if the number there is that... Hundreds of thousands, perhaps? Tens of thousands? I'm not too sure. Hmm. Intriguing. But all in all, our positions are bad. We've reorganized, we've reinforced the Jackson Corps here. Which is actually a... It's going to be a sizable force in the future. It's going to have a good number of guns. Uh, we are working on it. Oh, it looks like... If I take a look over here, then, we actually do have our telegraph stations here, it seems. Or is that supply? No, it looks like Telegraph. Yeah, okay, so we can actually see it work when I click on a unit then. So if I click on this unit, it looks like it works. So, it looks like, yeah, it looks like they are linked, which is good. Uh, though, for some reason, not that one. Not too sure. Maybe it's not worthwhile. Or maybe it's not required. That's fine. Right, so we'll go with that. Thank you very much for watching that, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any advice, let me know, and uh, we'll continue. I'm looking forward to the game. Looking forward to seeing it released. I'm looking forward to other people getting their hands on it. Obviously, if they have any advice, that'd be much appreciated. Uh, if there's much that can be done, the game will be continuously improved, ideally. And um, who knows? I'm looking forward to being able to see fourth a Confederate victory. We do have a number of ways we potentially uh, gain it, but we'll see. Uh, I don't know if there'll be a stream later on there, just, uh, I haven't got anything else I want to stream at this moment in time, but we'll see, we'll see. Since the population, 1860 to 161,000. Oh, thank you very much, man, Tom, much appreciated. Glad to see you come out from under your <laughs> rock there. I know you're busy, man. Good to see you. Uh, Tom here is one of my oldest supporters, if not the oldest supporter. Absolutely fine, upstanding fellow. Been with me from the start, much appreciated. Since the Civil War 2 days, potentially earlier. I'm gonna have to replay that Civil War 2, that's a good game. But indeed, until next time, thank you for watching uh, ISM NSI. If you guys enjoyed this, please do go ahead and subscribe here on Twitch and on YouTube. A subscription here on Twitch would be much appreciated, as it does really help support me as a content creator. And follow here on uh, Twitch would be appreciated as well. But until next time, thank you and goodbye. Do let me know what you think about the game. 
do let me know what your opening strategies will be, which armies do you think should be reinforced, what caliber of artillery would you use, would you use the uh, rifles, would you use the ordnance, would you go for the smoothbore, would you go for the 14 pounder, lovely cannons. Goodbye for now. Comment down below, I would like to know. Goodbye for now.